Hyunny, and today I'm going to be eating three chinchampong, also known as spicy seafood noodles. So let's dig in because I'm so hungry. So if you guys haven't tried these noodles, you guys really should because I really like them. They are one of my favorite noodles. It does have that seafoody taste and kind of like shin ramen too at the same time. But it does have a different um, spicy oily taste as well. This soup is so good. So now that I took a few bites out of it, today I wanted to do these are your confessions. And the reason why I wanted to do a confessions video today is because one of my honeybees actually updated me on one of the confessions that she sent me. So let me read this updated email for you guys. I don't know if you remember my confession that you had done in an older video about me running out on my date because I stained myself. I just wanted to update you on what's happened since then. So I read some of the comments of people replying or what they thought about my situation and it hit me that I should have handled it differently. Basically what happened was um, she accidentally stained herself in the movie theater and she ran out on her date without telling him what happened. So... Basically, she ditched her date because she was a little bit embarrassed and didn't know how to tell him. And they stopped talking since then. And then, so, she says, Since then, I contacted the guy again and we started talking. It was awkward at first, but we soon got comfortable with each other and I was able to explain about what really happened on that date. He was confused and a little upset that that was the reason. Since telling him, we've gotten close again and have even set up another date. He even joked that I should wear thick jeans this time. So I really want to thank all the honeybees for giving this honeybee an advice before. And it really makes me happy that, you know, our advice really helped her and things went really well with whatever situation they were in. It really makes me happy. So congratulations again and I hope your next date goes really well. And thank you so much for updating me. It made me so happy when I read this email. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do a new confessions video. So cheers to that! Mm. Today's noodles taste so much better because of this story that I read. This is best if you eat your noodle and then eat the soup right after. It tastes a lot better. Mm. Are you guys ready for the next confession? One time in middle school, me and my best friend at the time were looking for dates to go to our school dance. And as it turned out, my snake of a friend planned to go with a man that I liked. She knew so damn well that I liked him. Little did she know. What do you guys think happened? Comment down below. This is juicy. I thought I was watching a movie when I read this confession. You guys ready? Little did she know. Before she came over, I sprayed cooking spray all over her pillow that she would sleep in with the hopes that she would break out so much that she wouldn't be able to go to the dance. She woke up and her whole face was red and she didn't go. Typing this now, I know how messed up it was, but it feels good to finally get this off my chest. Haha. Ha. 
Oh my gosh, this is like the biggest revenge story that I've ever heard of in my life, in real life. But thank you for sharing your confession. Wow, it's like mean girls in real life. <laughs> You guys know what's coming soon, right? Next. So my boyfriend and I fight a lot. Usually because he always tells me I can't do things like go out drinking with my friends. But then he does the exact same thing. He's been on holiday the past week. So I understand he's busy. But he won't message me for hours at a time. I know he's out getting drunk with new friends he's made on holidays, some being girls, because during one of the few conversations we've had, he told me so. The thing that worries me the most is he said you can't trust anyone not to cheat on you when you're drunk, even himself. I disagree because I definitely believe you can drink alcohol and stay loyal to who you love. What should I do? Should I bring it up and try talking about it or should I leave him? Thanks. Well... What I think is that if he said that himself, then you never know what he's bound to do, especially when he's drunk. And it really does depend on the person, but if he's the one to say that to you, then I don't know if you could trust him. And him not texting you for hours, I think you should really talk to him. I really hope he didn't do anything on his holiday and he's loyal to you, my honeybee, because you deserve the best. And if he's out doing bad things to you and not being trustworthy, then I don't think you guys should be together. But I really hope for the best. When it comes to relationship. And I hope you guys both stay loyal to each other. And so good luck honeybee. And thank you so much for sending in your confession. Last bite of the noodles. Okay. Next confession. Here is my problem. I'm 20 years old and kind of like this guy I met. He's made it obvious he likes me too. The thing is, he's 18 and I can tell he's insecure about the fact that he's younger than me and to be honest, I am too. I know it's only 2 years and it's somewhat shallow to be conscious about the age difference but I can't help it. I'm also Korean and I know my family is going to ask me why I would go for a younger guy. Please help me out. Thanks honey, love you. Love you too honey B. but I would love to say just go for it. You're only 20. Seriously, 2 years especially? These days? Dating a younger guy is more of a trend, I feel like, and it doesn't hurt to try. Tell your parents, like, you know, age is just a number and you're just, you know, dating and you're still young. So there's nothing to worry about, right? I mean, if you really like him, why not? I would go for it and take the chances. So good luck, Kenny B. Thank you for sending in your confession, but I believe age is just a number. <laughs> I seriously love reading these confessions. But you know what time it is right now? Time for some rice! Mmm. Yummy.
Are you guys ready for the next one? I hope all is well. I'm one of your silent viewers and want to start by saying I love your videos. Keep being awesome. Thank you. I'm currently dealing with an issue and need your opinion or advice on how to deal with it. I met this guy while I was on a family vacation in Aussie. He's traveling with his family as well. I first noticed him when he offered to help carry my gigantic and almost overweight luggage at the hotel. Since then, we started talking and did share some flirtatious convo. Eh? Can my honeybees guess what happened? Ready? On the very last day, this guy asked my brother to swap seats on the plane so that he'd sit with me. Aww. See, I love reading these confessions because it makes me all giddy inside too. And it makes me wonder like, oh, okay, so what's next? What's next? So, are you guys ready? Long story short, he hasn't replied my text for a week now and I don't know if I should text him and ask if everything is okay. I don't want to sound desperate and needy though. He is such a gentleman but this actually got me into thinking that he might be one of those guys who like to play around. What are your thoughts and what should I do, honey? Well, thank you for sending in your confession and I would say just go and text him, you know? It's all or nothing. If he doesn't text you back, when you text him and see what's up, then you know what? His loss. And he's not worth your time. But I really would want to know why he stopped texting you. So if I were you, I would text him. And if he doesn't text me back, I would just move on. There are so many fish in the sea and the right one is there somewhere. He might be the one, he might not. Who knows? But good luck, honeybee. Please let me know and update me if anything happens. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be the last confession. And um, this one really touched my heart. And I kind of just wanted to share with you guys because I feel for this honeybee. I kind of felt... A little bit the same and if you guys if any of my other honeybees are going through this uh, maybe I don't know you can talk to me and we can all talk together but let me tell you guys about this honeybee story after I eat a little bit This is a pretty long one, so get ready. Get some chips, get some popcorn. Get ready to listen to this story, okay? Okay. Hi, honey. I hope you're having an amazing day or night. I've recently been binge watching all of your mukbangs and I made it to your Korean fried chicken mukbang. Now I'm a complete mess. Your story about your brother really touched me because I've been in a similar situation before. So I want to share it with you since you've shared your story with us. Well, if you guys have not watched my Korean fried chicken um, video please go ahead and watch it but if you guys haven't um, I talk about where 
I found out that my brother had a brain tumor. But if you guys want to know more in depth about it, please go ahead and check that video. But let me continue with this confession. I have an older brother who is 11 years older than me. Oh my god, I'm like starting to tear up already because I kind of read this confession already. So, he was born with Williams Syndrome. It is a genetic disease and it causes the person to have developmental delays and usually heart problems. It's difficult for me to even write this because I want to think that I am a different person today, but sometimes when I'm down, I tell myself that nothing has changed. My brother is the best person in the world. He is sweet and always happy and loud. I wouldn't trade him for anybody else. He has made me the person I am today. He's the reason I am going to medical school this year to become a physician. But I know that I have hurt him a lot in the past. I was so embarrassed by him when I was a child. I didn't want anything to do with him. I didn't even want to be seen around him. He used to walk me to school sometimes and I remember as a 5 year old, I would run into the doors without looking back at him because I didn't want people to know he was my brother. But he loved me anyways. My mom told me one night that he was going to go into surgery and he would be in the hospital for a couple of weeks to prepare. I remember the first thing that went to my mind was that I hoped he didn't come back. God, I'm crying now. So am I. <laughs> I think that everyone wants to believe that they are good people, but sometimes you let your inner demons slip. They come out of you and make you think about the worst things. I didn't want him to come back and embarrass me. I didn't want him to laugh so loud or sing for no reason. I didn't want him to wave hi to me on the streets in front of all my friends. But those days that he was away were so hard for me. I felt so empty. I remember crying myself to sleep every night because I was afraid my wish would come true. I was afraid that he wouldn't come back. The surgery was a success and he came back a couple of weeks later. He is my best friend now. Sorry for the long story. I love your mukbangs and your amazing personality. Keep being the best honey that you can be. Thank you, honeybee, so much for sending me this confession. I actually like really teared up when I was reading it and even right now like I'm tearing up because I kind of understand how you feel. You know, there are times when it gets hard because my brother um, sometimes doesn't remember a lot of things still because he did have a brain tumor and you know there are different side effects to the surgery and having a brain tumor as well so I totally understand how you could have felt and you know I'm sure your brother forgives you now because you were so young and you know, you are so innocent. You didn't know how to feel having a different brother than everyone else. And I'm sure that was like a really big stress on your shoulder. And that's why you could have felt the way that you did. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I hope that um, sharing this confession, it made you feel a little bit better inside. I know it's sometimes hard to forgive yourself for thinking a certain way. So thank you. to all my honeybees who took the time to send the stories and to share the confessions with me and my other honeybees and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and to become a honeybee and like this video if you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye 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 bye, -bye.